Hey guys, it's Jay Saber. Just woke up with a major back pain. My stupid little pug sleeps on my bed every night and he makes me get myself in such weird positions because I get scared in the middle of the night that I want to like turn over on top of him. That man, he just like I woke up with such back pains in my lower back. But um, today should be an interesting day. We got a couple things to do, me and my fiance. So let's see how the day goes on. But whatever, besides that, look at this. The dogs continue to shit all over the yard. I am so tired of this shit. I am so tired of cleaning this every day. My God. Guys, I really hate it when this happens. Fish tank runs out of water, so then I gotta go to the grocery store and buy four gallons of distilled water and pour it in the bottom. It's like a job. Time for the plumber to come here and like connect some sort of device to make the water pour it in by itself or something. Okay guys, today is payday. It's one of my few times in the month that I actually make money. So I'm off to go pick up my cash. So yeah, I'm going to Publix now to get myself uh, chocolate milk. What I do almost every day. But this time I'm getting a gallon and the chocolate so I can make it myself. This is a little... I guarantee you here they'll tell me to turn off the camera. Well guys, I walked into Publix with no money in my pocket. Now, I got money in my pocket. Isn't that nice? We walk towards the car. Where my beautiful fiance is waiting for me. So we can go ahead and put some gas in the car because we're on empty. I don't even know how we've made it this far. Wow, look at her. She's just like sleeping in the car. Nice. Mission complete. Babe. Well guys, I'm here pouring gas at the gas station. Um, you guys notice gas prices have gone pretty much down, man. They're not too bad anymore. Not like they were before at least. But uh what the hell was I gonna say? I was gonna tell you guys something. But I completely forgot. I got a brain fart. Shit, what the hell was I gonna say? Alright babe, where are we going now? To my mom's house. To do what? I don't know, what are we doing? We're gonna take pictures of some cars that we're gonna put up for sale. So, let the journey begin. Well guys, we have arrived to our current destination. I'm walking through an acre to show you guys what this mechanic has done to me. Mechanic went out of business, so on him going out of business, he didn't finish my cars. So I got like one car finished and like three other cars that I have to sell as junk because there's nothing else I can do with these freaking cars. But I'm going to show you what used to be two 1966 Mustangs and what they look like now. They actually ran, you know, they, you can actually drive them and look at them now. Wow. Just a giant piece of metal. And you come over here, another piece of metal. Then you come over here, this is the, the, the only one that he finished, which is like I think a 1966 Mercedes Benz. And then you come over here and this is like a little MG, MGB or whatever. Negotiating intro for YouTube. So YouTube followers, stay tuned to see what the intro him and his friend will come up with. La Mandre. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good and you? What are you doing? I'm going to go to seminar at Baptist Hospital. Ooh. Yes. Miami traffic. It really, really sucks. We have been stuck in traffic for like 30 minutes. We've traveled about three blocks. <laughs> Right, now I'm gonna cross the street, which is to my mom's house. Pretty funny that we live right across each other. She stalked me, by the way. It wasn't that I moved here. I moved here first, and then she followed my ass. But I'm gonna go and turn on one of my cars because I haven't turned it on like in a week. It's my baby. This is like I'm selling off all my cars, but this is the only car that I plan to keep forever. It's my little bastard. 
as James Dean called his car, little bastard. This is my little bastard. So this is my baby with this his baby. One. This one. This is my baby. I said, this is my baby with his baby. Oh, go. Yes. Huh. Okay, I gotta open up the garage door. to make sure you don't come from that side. I, already I don't want to die, please. <laughs> so I already smoke, and if I uh, add the carbon monoxide, yeah. You know what sad is that this car sits in this garage, and I don't even drive it. Is you know how fun we will have driving it. It's always second round. Woo! This is that baby purr. I never drive this car. I never enjoy it or anything. What? I never enjoy this car. Look at the beauty, bro. This is this is this is the my baby. This look at this. In mint condition, perfect condition. This is my baby. Oh look, you can see uh no that's not my house. But I love this car so much. Love it. So we opened the door and he did not want to come out. He's too tired. Benny! Benny, what are you doing? My stalker. You're my stalker, aren't you? My stalker, my stalker. Let's go Kisa. Come on. Let's go Kisa. Kisa means in Swedish, let's go take a shit. There he's off to the crapper. More shit for me to clean later on tomorrow. Alright guys, this is the stuff I really hate doing. This kind of stuff. So much damn work for this fish tank. I'm telling you, I gotta get a plumber out there. This is ridiculous. I work too hard for the for this damn fish tank. It's like every three days I gotta put four gallons of distilled water. Quick question: Does anybody ever feel this way? I'm always thinking. I'm always thinking like, damn, do I have like a massive disease or do I have like some sort of cancer? Or do, I'm always like fearing like if I have a backache or if I have like a like a pain in my leg or if I have a weird strange pain. I'm always worried. So guys, let me know if you guys go through this too so I can feel normal, so I can feel like everybody's, I'm just like everybody else. Please let me know. Alright guys, let me show you how difficult it is what I have to do every single time I have to put these damn gallons of water into the fish tank. So I have to move this. There's the pump. I grab a gallon. And okay, on this note, um, thank you guys for watching my video. I'd like to give a special thanks to um, Al Delcy at Volunteer Productions. You know, um, he helped me out doing that intro that you guys just saw today on today's video. Thank you very much, and all of you guys that are watching, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment on my channel. Thanks.